nursery rhyme, Little Bo Peep. Let's listen to what Pastor Eric has to say. Welcome, friends. Good to see you. Did you know it was Peep 18? Can you believe we've done 18 of these? Well, I hope that you enjoyed the Peep intros of some of my friends. They're pretty exciting and interesting, and I'd love to see more of them. So keep sending those videos of Peep intros. All right, Peep. Pastor Eric's enjoyable points today, we're going to use bubbles. How many of you like bubbles? I love bubbles. They're pretty exciting and awesome, and I want to blow a few of them just so we can see them. One of my favorite things about bubbles is watching them, but also popping them. So let's see if I can get some bubbles blown here. Here we go. Uh, do any of you ever have trouble like me blowing bubbles? Uh, I'm going to try one more time. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's not working. Uh, I have an idea. I brought this here just in case the bubbles didn't work. Let's see if this works. Here they come. Now, bubbles are beautiful and they're fascinating and, and they look solid like you can touch them, but then they disappear and they're gone, just like that. Their beauty only lasts for a moment and then they're gone. It's, it's really disappointing. Just imagine if they just stayed here, but they come and they go just like that. Isn't that frustrating how they are here, but then they're gone? Now, I wanted to think about that because just like bubbles, many of the things that we want or seek in life are the same as bubbles. They look awesome or amazing and then they go away. Maybe if you had this thought that if you could just have a phone or a tablet, then everything would be greater. But you get one and it is okay for a little while, but then it just goes away or it's not that cool anymore. Or maybe you think, if I have enough money, then I'll have everything I want and everything I need. But then you spend it and you're out of money and you have to figure out how to get more money. Oh, I'm making a mess. I need to put this down. Or maybe you think, if I can just get friends, enough friends or that certain right friend, but then maybe that friend is mean to you and they don't do what you want them to do and it just gets more and more frustrating. Whatever we seek, on and on and on, it never lasts and it's never what we hope it will be. But we keep seeking and we keep hoping that something will work. And then, and then, oh, and then we find Jesus. And he's the real thing. He's solid. He doesn't go away. He doesn't disappear. And he's everything that we could ever have hoped for. He doesn't disappear. He doesn't let us down. He doesn't hurt us. He's around forever we find that Jesus is real and solid and unchanging. He always delivers what he promises. Unlike bubbles that go away, unlike hopes and dreams that don't come true, Jesus is always there. I want to share a verse with you from Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 13. It says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jesus wants to be found by you, and he wants you to look for him. Instead of looking for money, or tablets, or toys, or friends, or other things that make you happy, Jesus wants you to seek him, because he's the real thing. In Matthew 6.33 it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. The cool thing about Jesus if you seek him and you find Jesus, then he promises that the other important things in your life will come too. So let's spend our effort not pursuing things that go away like bubbles, but let's spend our time pursuing Jesus, the real thing. Will you pray with me? God, I thank you that you're real, that you don't disappear, that you don't let us down, you don't break your promises, you're never mean to us, you don't break, you're always there. And I pray, God, that we'd spend our energy and our time seeking, pursuing you. And you promise that if we seek you, we will find you. And when we do, you also promise that the other important things will come into our life as well. So help us to trust you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I hope you enjoyed that peep. I'll see you later. Bye, friends.